Hey guys, Red Designs here, and welcome to the tutorial of my Red Design Lightroom V3. Now, this video is made for people who do not use Lightrooms in general, and yeah. So, first, when you open up Red, uh, my Lightroom, um, you'll basically see nothing. If you render it out, uh, your map will be, or your scene will be pitch black, you won't see any lights or anything. So, what you want to do is click on my Lightroom, and then make sure this user data tab is selected. And then this is basically this basically um, opens up uh, a bunch of buttons and stuff which you can mess around with and yeah. So first we have our camera. So this camera is just here to remind you that my Lightroom looks best with focus distance at 1.2k or uh, something sort of close. And <clears throat> uh, I set my blur. Yeah, just, yeah. And then next, click on the Lightroom. Okay, so first. Let's check on volumetric and yeah so volumetric if you know what it is it's basically lighting that gives a soft feel to it I guess uh, it looks really nice I, I don't know but I, I don't explain it but okay so once you check on volumetric you will see this purple sphere of uh, I don't know but whatever uh, yeah you'll see a purple sphere this basically indicates like where the volumetric light is, you can see the, the island outline of the volumetric lights. It's not really aligned perfectly, but whatever. And yeah. So yeah, this um, you once you render it out, the purple sphere won't be there, so do not worry. It's just there, so uh, you know where the light is, just in case you're like lost or something. I don't know. And then yeah. So let's go to our glow. The glow is basically the same thing, uh, there's not much to it, it's just what I use uh, at the end of my interest or behind the MC character in my interest. So but you see this, the glow here, it's pretty nice, it's basically like volumetric lights. Uh, I mean it is volumetric but whatever, uh, okay so yeah and how to use it, if you want to know how to use it, uh, let's get out my rig here, I made this a tri rig by the way. I don't freaking stole my work. Uh, okay, what you want to do is drag the character from uh, your uh, list of objects and then drag it all the way to this box. And this basically enables uh, the light, I guess. And yeah, it's pretty bright. So you might want to like put it behind the character. So something like that. That's, that's what I usually do. And yeah, so let's turn it off. And then let's freaking remove rig. Sorry, I'm so unprofessional. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um. Yeah. Next, we have our sky, which is basically very normal. You can customize the gradient over here. Okay. Red. You know, stuff like that. Uh. Closer. and yeah pretty basic and also over here you will see the sky intensity uh, it basically makes it brighter you know it's pretty useful actually uh, and yeah so we'll go to our Sun and then once you check on the Sun uh, and let me try okay um, you'll see a yellow sphere in the sky which is basically the the Sun and then you'll notice this white line that's like zooming across the, the view over here and uh, yeah that basically um, indicates uh, the direction which the sun is facing in. So, uh, if I move it around, am I freaking lagging? Uh, okay, so if I move it around, this is basically the direction which the light is, I guess. And yeah. Next, we have our environment. If you don't know what environment is, it's basically a. Uh, uh, actually, I don't explain it. Ask someone else, but that's like fancy effects or something. But uh, yeah, um, also it's uh, environment has fog, so uh, the fog setting is over here, environment, okay, and then fog distance, this is basically like really foggy, and then 1.125k one, 1. is basically my default settings, which is like not too noticeable, but it, it does help, and yeah, let's turn that off, and is there anything else? Oh yeah, so, oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay, sorry guys. 
and then let's turn on the sun again and basically for the sun brightness you will see uh yeah basically sun brightness how bright the light is and the sun color so if i can like set it to red or something and then what you have here is shadow quality so if you know what shadow quality is or like the shadow type um it's basically like the first one is basically basically uh no, not not really any shading just the ambient occlusion and then two you can see like sharp shadows i guess uh using the I don't, I don't know whatever and then this it's basically more realistic uh the farther the farther away the the, ob the object is like i don't explain it but it's just more realistic but it takes also uh, like much longer not too long but longer and uh, yeah i think that's pretty much it for this tutorial i'm sorry if i stuttered a lot or like if i was just bad or anything but whatever and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And guys, and welcome to the second part of the tutorial. So in this tutorial, part of the tutorial, we will be covering on how to apply my CC in your Lightroom in the Lightroom V3. So uh, what you want to do is make sure you have your you, you have your uh, PNGs or AVI imported, your Cinema 4D, and then make sure this is selected, and then look up Magic Bullet Looks, and you will have that. And then this will this thing will pop up. So make sure you press edit. And yeah, if you hover your cur cursor over uh, looks, you won't see any of my CC like <clears throat> no custom CCs, you know. So uh, what you want to do is uh, go to settings, uh, preset folder, and then this will pop up. Now what you want to do is go to my Lightroom. And then you will see my CC and my actual Lightroom. So what you want to do is drag the CC over to the customs folder. And then you should be good. Okay, let's just cancel. And then now you see your clean, bright, saturated look. That's what my CC is called. I don't know what I called it. And then, yeah. If you think it's a little too strong, you can always set the strengths down. Or what I usually do with my CC is to turn this off and then yeah this this is basically the thing that like increases the contrast a lot you know so yeah it still looks nice and if you want I only do this sometimes I just add like extra diffusion just to give it more of a glowy feel if you want yeah and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I'll see you guys later, and I hope you buy my Lightroom. I will see you later. Peace out.